is there a problem? Don't is there a problem me? That paper is highly classified and only for highest level personnel. I don't know how you found me, but you won't be able to pin anything on me. Flat foot. I'm not a police officer. I'm an FBI agent. That means I can drag you off to a dark room, pour lemon juice in your eyes until you tell me everything you know. Thanks for the help. Um, what precinct are you in? I'll make sure you get a promotion. The 21st. Tell me! Hey, Finn? What? There is no 21st precinct. Hey, hey what, what is, is this? this? It's a little trap we put together. Ever since you guys killed Plinface in the blue, we figured we'd better rub you out before you got us next. No way! Finch, Finch, are you all right? <laughs> my, my only regret is that I only had one life. <laughs> to give to my country. No, 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 don't die on me, Finch. Don't die. No, 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 Finch. No, no, no. No! <laughs> Come in. Are you alright? I heard screaming. Bad thoughts and bad dreams. Pretty bad combination, but nothing a little bit of whiskey can't solve, right? Why are you here? My name is Dr. Tora Trey. I'm here to hire a private detective. You're either imagining it, or you don't really deserve him, because you don't even need to tell you that your husband is cheating on you. I believe you misunderstood my intentions. I'm not here for domestic purposes. It's far more dangerous than that. This isn't a Hubert Bogart or a Jimmy Stewart film. In real life, people get hurt, so I suggest you take this matter to the professionals. I can't trust the police. You see, I'm a nuclear physicist. My team does very secret research, and we need someone that knows how to keep their mouth shut. Your reputation says that you know how to do just that. What's the job? I suspect one of our researchers, Dr. Sergei Sergenstein, to be a spy. Why do you think that? He's friends with a lot of communists and has publicly shouted unpatriotic phrases. He's a defector of the Russians. But you can't be sure these days. Why did you not just report him to the House on American Activities Committee? Because he's the smartest one of us. Although we can function without him, I need to be sure before I do anything drastic. And that's where I come in. All right, I'll do it. But I want to be very well paid. I can arrange that. Sergenstein frequents a restaurant called Battleship Potemkin. He's there from 2 to 3. While he's there, you can search his place. Here's the key I stole. Government scientists sure do get some nice perks. Hello, I would like to hire an escort. No, not a male one! No, I'm not trying to be homophobic. Who's there? What? Traitor. 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 I should call the police. I should call the FBI instead. These bullets are very rare, made only in East Germany. I think, though, it's hard to tell. It's likely the KGB killed him because he's a defector. No, he's not. He's a Russian spy, and these papers prove it.
How did you get these? And on that note, why are you even here? His research partners suspected him of being a traitor, so I came here to look for evidence. Uh, I was looking around when he got shot. Well, in light of this evidence, it seemed the KGB knew you were on him and decided to cut their losses. Thank you for reporting this. It's nice to meet an agent as reputed as you. Sorry you had to leave the Bureau. Well, the work did take its toll on me. That's the whole story. In any case, he can't steal any more secrets. I feel kind of bad he had to die, though. Well, he died for his country. That's the greatest honor you can have. I guess not. You look like you could use a drink. I'm going to be having lunch with a couple of colleagues at Potemkin. Want to come along? I guess it couldn't hurt. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Tara. Who'd you bring? The detective I hired. Ooh. So, did he find anything out? So, yes, they're going to deal with the spy, just as I suspected. Killed by his own comrades because he found out that we were on to him. So, Finn, can you tell us any detective stories? There's not much to even tell. A lot of my greatest moments involved a lot of technical stuff. Protecting, surveillance, innovating investigative techniques. That's a lot of the stuff I did during my uh, FBI days. Most of it would probably just go over a year ahead. You probably wouldn't even understand half leads and more than we'd understand your techniques. Unfortunately, I understand all too well. What? After dealing with spies so long, it became obvious that I just couldn't trust anyone. That's why I left the FBI. That's why I chose a job where I could spy on the worst people in the world. When a friend of mine died in the line of duty, his only regret was that he only had one life to give to his country. I've given my life too, but I'm still alive. I sacrificed human contact, and in doing so, I'm, I'm only living a half-life. Does that answer your question, Doctor? I'm sorry about your friend, but you can't let a few bad people give you a miserable look on life. If you do that, then you're just giving them exactly what they want. Do you not think I've tried trusting people again? It seems to me that you haven't tried hard enough. Well, would your friend want you to die without getting any friends? Well, I guess I could try once more, for Finch's sake. Well, if you want friends, you can eat lunch with us from now on. Well then, let's order. Speaking of spies, how did they find out that you were after Surgenstein? Uh, yeah. I told Agent Phyllis about our suspicions. You think she's a spy? No! She's done plenty to help us with the possible with these sort of things. She could have told Agent Phil. He seemed very suspicious to me. Well, Surgeon Stein and, those, and him were friends after all. But he's FBI. We can't report him. If only we could prove that he was a spy. I can investigate him. Then please, you helped us enough. No, it'll help ease my conscience. I'll go now. Well, this place is closing up soon. It's almost two. <coughs> Freaking KGB. So I'm one of them now. Yeah? Do KGB units read Ayn Rand? It's Dr. Trey that's the real spy anyway. Why the hell would Tora hire me if she was the spy? Honestly, Finn, I don't understand how a former FBI agent can be so dense. Surgeon Steen wasn't a spy. In fact, he was one of the only researchers that wasn't one. And he was on to the rest. But he's a socialist. So is Orwell. It's about time people like you realize that spies don't attend socialist meetings. Real spies aren't former union leaders. Real spies are God-fearing citizens that salute the flag and eat apple pie along with the rest of the nuclear family. And all the HUAC's ever done was make my job a lot harder. When Sergestine told me about his suspicions, Phyllis overheard him. She's a spy too. She would have told the rest of the spies. So they made me their patsy. Basically. They needed someone to pin the crime on, and when you got to the house, they killed him. So that's why Tori gave me the wrong time to go there. That's why Surgenstein was muttering traitor. 
He wasn't saying traitor. He was trying to say Tora Trey. After she killed him, you would have called the police and with a couple words from Phyllis, you would have been convicted in public opinion before you even stood trial. But I didn't go to the police. I went to the FBI. Phyllis would have killed you when she got there, but lucky I got there the same time she did. Me to get to you. Or to get killed in the process. Either way, they have their patsy. I take it you believe me now? You know, I really don't know who to believe anymore. But your story sure does fill in the holes of Dr. Trey's. If you hadn't found these phony papers that prove that Sergestine was a spy, I wouldn't have enough evidence to arrest him by now, so thanks. I'd like to assist in the arrest. Might as well. We need to hurry if you still want to use the element of surprise. You're both under arrest for treason, espionage, and attempted murder. No, with one call to the HUAC, you will be. Don't listen to a word he says, Ben. I only listen to my gut, and so far, it's been feeling pretty sick. Back in my day at the FBI, we didn't scream out Russian words when we got shot. My gut trusts him a lot more than you. But the HUAC will believe us. So much for friendship, huh, Tora? Your only mistake was that the Potemkin closes at 2. lost your first half all over again. I'm gonna take these guys in. Do you want to tag along? Actually, I think I'll just head back to my office. If you ever want to get back in the FBI, I put in good work for you. The only regret I have is that I only had one life to give to my country. You are so goddamn lucky, Finn. <laughs>